Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this lesson, we'll take a look combining the alcohol-based markers and color pencils to create a lotus flower font. We'll start with the light graphite sketching. Only contour the smooth paper. This paper has a smooth surface and designed to accept multiple applications of alcohol-based markers and color pencils. For this demonstration, we'll create a base application of the markers on which over the top, we'll apply multiple application of the color pencils. Also strengthening the colors and contrast. Initially, we'll give just the overall shape of the colors. In this case, we'll starting with the shading of the petals with pinkish shades of colors. And then we can switch into darkening the shades using purple and mixed color pencils. And start developing some of the shapes of the petal, shadows and highlights. Even though using the pink shades, there is a quite variety of shades. These are here like peach, pink, greenish touch on the petals. In all though, we'll create a representational drawing and this is our goal. We'll also pull out a few of the colors to make more aesthetically successful color scheme. In this example, we'll be focusing on enhancing the pink, red, purple for the lotus flower that we see. And then for the water, different shades of greens and blues, focusing on primary color schemes. But for now, we are only concentrating for the basic shapes of the color and value. Next, we'll switch over to our third color and we'll begin addressing some of the darker tones that are fenced to the leaves. Now, 
Now our base application with the marker are in place and start focusing of applying color pencils. In this case the color that we are using is dark olive, olive, dark green, light green shades. This will give more depth to the leaves. These are darker tones of course exist in the leaves to apply a few application of the dark green here. The color pencils application of course enhance the colors, increase the contrast and add a bit of clarity to the edges of the shapes. We'll start with the application of olive leaves and black for the edges of the leaf. We'll continue increasing and enhancing the contrast in the drawing. You can see how much these darker values make a difference. Each additional pencils and marker application make the value slightly darker. This is true even apply a light value on the top. Here again, we just creating the basic shapes of the application. We leave a few areas of white space around the leaves and the water using white fan to create highlights. In this case, we'll be applying a bit of white pencil shade in the areas we make the value slightly lighter. For example, for covering the water on the leaves, I'm using white highlighters to make it more appealing and to keep the work more harmonious. We'll enhance and increase the color values with a little bit of light shades. We can also create a transition of values using various different greens and blues. To smooth the transition, we can go over the top of this application using colorless blender. This may remove few of the application of the color pencils and make it more of smoother appearance. The lighter value colors can also achieve the same effect. We can use a white color pencil to smooth the colors. We also have the areas that can be highlighted using application of white gel pens or acrylic markers. Colored pencil application has made here smooth out any sticks that we are left by the marker application. It still allows the color of the marker to show through. We can also apply to make a few highlights of colors. We'll continue this process working out our way to the top of the water layers. We'll continue applying the line application using the star pens for the water ripples or lotus stems. Now the contrast of this area is very strong at this point. So we need to tone it down a bit and for this we'll apply a bit of light blue shades over the top of the entire lower version leaving just a fewer sections of this greenish water shades of the pond. We'll start giving some contrast here with patch of darker shapes. Here the point noted that we have the areas of strong contrast that happens. Usually there are transitions of values means a gradation of light to dark. Usually it is starting change between the light and dark values. We can clearly see this on the bottom portion and the upper portion of the water. 
we still need to add some of the lighter shades to the bottom portion and here we'll use the light shades of blue color shade this makes a huge difference in making the image appealing and more representational we'll strengthen off a few last highlights of the petals to complete the drawing If you enjoyed this video or ready to learn even more about drawing and painting then subscribe to my channel And now our marker and color pencil drawing is complete Thank you so much for watching